Hi, um, today we're going to be having a short video, um, well perhaps not so short, of uh, how to get a uh, blink on um, x light Racer and uh, Asterix and some... Okay. And um, some uh, basic dial plan configuration. Uh, we're going to be creating uh, some extensions so we can call between the phones and we can be um, configuring as well an IBR and uh, hopefully voicemail and some other things. So I'm going to slide this into multiple videos to make sure that uh, the videos are not too long to watch or, or anything boring. So I'm just going to start first with um, some basic configuration. Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, the zip.com file. Notice that I'm going to be uh, editing everything as root uh, so watch out for that. Um, so first off you want to create the uh, the user ID for your, the zip device you're going to be working and uh, I'm just going to define it as a as a type friend and uh, you might want to uh, just uh, define a secret um, something um, uh, very secured I'm just going to use very unsecured for the purpose of the demonstration and um, I'm gonna do a context of a uh, internal we're gonna uh, see where that fits together later and um, you want to enable a host dynamic as well to allow this uh, phone to be um, able to get registered and uh, I'm gonna do pretty much the same for uh, 1001 and uh, 1002. Okay. okay, so I think that should be. Uh, I might be missing something, but um, I'll just try it for now. So I'm gonna use asterisk to reconnect to asterisk, and I'm gonna do a zip reload um, to reload the configuration. And as you can see, if I do a ship zip show users, um, the three users are creating now on this setup. I'm gonna put a zip set um, debug on, uh, core set verbos to nine dot dot, or something like that. I just do a clear to get a clean slide. So if I go under man manage accounts, I wanna add an account. Uh, let's say I'm gonna be 1000 at uh, 139 I think is the server virtual machine and um, well that would be actually this password and for display name I'm just gonna add 1000 in okay so as you can see um, it went available so that looks like it registered and um, if you look for the debug let me just exit out for a minute here. You can see that we got um, our register coming in from the Blink client. We challenge it for an authorized. Um, they sent us subscribe for MWI. We challenged that as well. This time we got a register with an authorization header uh, with the password encrypted in an uh, MD5 format or I should say hash perhaps and um, we sent a 200 ok so that phone is registered now and the subscribe we haven't configured voicemail really so I wouldn't expect uh, voicemail to work if I do a zip show users right now um, peers you can see that this one appears uh, with a host address so it's um, is, uh, is actively registered it's currently unmonitored because I didn't configure qualified yes I don't know if this blinks client support um, uh, zip things but we can try it on one to test it so you know how how's that done okay uh, 78 at 139 1 2 3 4 5 okay the outrace has 1001 and uh, blink um, I mean uh, x light is a little different though um, these guys made some uh, nice products but um, I guess they've been very busy with their uh, uh, 
paid version of this Bria, so it's it's been kind of crappy lately. I don't I don't like it as much as, as I did for the previous versions. But well, what do I know? Uh, I just might want to set that up. Uh, loud access. To be try. Uh, not found. For for not found to the register with the credentials. Hmm. Zip show users. One thousand two. Here we have one thousand two. One thousand two. One thousand two. One thousand two. One two. The legend appear found for one thousand two. Oh, it's, uh, it's doing something weird. Uh, let's see. User ID 1002. And there, there will. So the race. Now, all three phones are registered. Um, like I said before, um, zip set debug off. Let me disable the debug. Okay, as you can see, all of them are, are registered now. Uh, now, does that mean that they can call each other? Well, not really. Uh, there's really no dial plan for this. So, what I want to do is I want to um, exit out and uh, configure the extensions that come, and I'm going to define a context. You know, for those that are of you that are familiar with Cisco, contexts are kind of a the equivalent of partitions, uh, but it allows you to logically separate um, your different extensions and users. So I'm going to define an extension um, It's going to be 1000, priority 1. Now all I'm going to do is a dial um, to the zip channel. over um, user 1000. There will be whatever user ID that you define prior to it. And as well, you might do this with wildcards. Uh, I'm just going to keep it um, something very simple. So we can um, we can then expand on this later. So I guess that I think that should work. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to do a dial plan reload to load the dial plan. And then uh, dial plan show. Uh, we have the three extensions in the configuration, so that looks like it worked. Now let's see. So if I call extension 1001, okay, is um is going out to one phone, ringing on the other one. If I click on accept, um, hmm, uh, I have a, an error here. Um, yep, you see, I'm calling extension 1000 on all of them, so that's um, that's not correct. Hmm, it's not. I don't want to go into insert mode. Okay. Okay. Now I down plan reload. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, call 1001. Accepted. <laughs> this time it's on the right phone. If I call uh, 1002, that will be. Uh, let me drop that before that um, gives me trouble. So, you know, you can um, you can do very fancy things like um, after this dial, you can uh, redirect the call to somewhere else or you can send it to voicemail, or you can do a hand group, or you can do a lot of things. So I'm just going to pause this for now uh, that we have the phones working. I'm going to have a follow-up video with expanding on the capabilities for this, and we're going to try to get a voicemail to work on these phones. Uh, I hope you um, enjoyed it.